what's going on everyone on the internet so <clears throat> this is going to be our first lord of the rings draft we're going to do the premiere draft because it's ranked i personally don't love premiere drafts i like best of three so the traditional draft but i do like ranked rewards i like ranking i like getting getting my rank higher um yeah one thing i'll mention is that this is like i said this is our first draft and i also have not <clears throat> seen uh, all of the cards in the set and the reason for this is that it's really just difficult to keep up with cards um with the number of sets coming out like i i usually spend about two to three hours uh i'll like lay down with my ipad or sit at the desk or whatever and i'll open scryfall and i'll look at all the cards um I'll I'll do a I'll do a, a a search for all the you know the the cards from the new set like Lord of the Rings whatever it may be, and I'll just go through them one by one. I'll read each one. I'll be like, okay, maybe this is good. Maybe this is good for Cube. Oh, this could be see modern play. Whatever, right? I'll evaluate them in my own mind, and I just didn't do that because it takes like three hours, and it usually takes like I have to do it over like three days, um, and I just haven't gotten around to it. So. We're going to use our draft token. We're going to get in this thing, but I'm not going to guarantee that I won't have to read a few cards here or there. Yeah, actually, and I'll, I'll, I'll mention what Cyborg Yui just said. They have the archetypes over here, which is actually really, really kind of sweet. Um, so we have Go Wide Humans for, for Red White, um, Scry for uh, blue green, black green is sacrifice, blue red is obviously spells, black white tokens, green white food, white red power matters, so you're pumping power I assume, a mass uh, is red black, uh, a mass control is blue black, and then you have draw two which is white blue. So I mean kind of kind of sweet that they have the archetypes listed and they're also very traditional magic archetypes. Um, <laughs> It's funny because I feel like blue white would be extremely popular because you're it's the, the archetype is draw two. So, you know, I feel like no matter what archetype I'm playing, I, I would love to draw two. But, you know. So we're just waiting for the others. I love being Frank Lepore number eight one five six eight. That's probably my favorite way to be. You know? You know what I'm saying? Also, my throat feels really scratchy and weird today. Mm. Also, zero sugar. Oh, boy. Sacrifice the number of lands, really top X cards, where X is the number of lands, sacrifice. Choose any number of artifact or land cards. Put all non-land shows, put them in the lands, and choose them on the battlefield, put them in the rest on the bottom. Okay, so you're basically just swapping lands and or artifacts. Whenever a lander is a battlefield under your control... Dark creature, it's plus one, plus one. Then if they have four power or greater, that's not bad. A four, 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 four is just fine. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Put a creature from a... So that, that card's decent. That card's also pretty decent. I might just take this Kingfisher. Unless you guys see, like, a bomb card that I'm just missing. Uh, enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. That seems pretty good, a 4-5 or 5. Also, one of the, the mental barriers that I've had so far um, is that the ring tempting you should be a negative thing, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Like, every time I was like, oh, the ring tempts you, that's going to be something bad. And then it's it's not, like, they're all good. Right? Like... One gift of strands under his battlefield scry two and chain creatures plus three percent. Okay, so it's basically just like a, an instant speed. Old man Willow's power on top of your children in the lands you control. Old man Willow. There's so many old men in magic cards now. Maybe not old man, but old. There's a lot of old. Especially in black green. Uh, that's actually pretty decent. Uh so this is a three three for four, and then they mill three. Or, you know, whatever the amass power is. It's in a non-token creature. That's actually pretty decent, if I'm not mistaken. Arwen's Gift, also pretty good. 
So like your ring bear is legendary and can't be blocked by creatures of critter power. That's just upside, right? Whenever the ring bear attacks, draw and, and discard. So you're looting. That, again, that's just upside. Whenever your ring bear becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller sacrifices it. Again, upside. Whenever your ring bear does combat damage to a player, each opponent loses three life. So again, they're just all upside. It's very interesting. Whenever a goblin or orc you control does combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it. When you do, choose one. Draw a card or create a treasure. This makes something a 5-5 five, five until end of turn and the ring tempts you. Target creature gains plus one, plus one, plus one, plus three and flying and untap it. Sure. Three, four flyer for five. That's scries. And then you have soothing of Smeagol again. Yeah, soothe your, <laughs> soothe your Smeagol. I think it might just be Willow Wind here. It could just be birthday escape. Is birthday escape any good? Draw a card and the ring tempts you. Like, it feels like it goes really well with the... I guess we're taking soothing. Uh, metal door. Three, three, four, four. When it deals combat damage to player, except to one creature and then return to the... Okay, so you're blinking something. That's actually... And it's also a three, three flyer for four. Deals combat damage to orc, destroy it. Sure, I'll just take the three, three flyer for four. I mean, I actually don't mind having another soothing. I think there were... There, the, all, all things considered, those picks are pretty pretty equal. Counter a creature if it's legendary. So this is just a remove soul with upside, right? I, I can't imagine ever playing remove soul over this. Put it to one instant or sorcery from your graveyard on top of your library. So it's a this is a two two for three. It's so funny because a mass are just creatures at the very at the very least it's a two two, or it's like put plus two to put two plus one plus one counters on your creature. I'm gonna take Arwen's gift. Because we just got Mel Menin Meneldo Meneldor. I'm so sorry that I'm not super fluent with every Lord of the Rings character. I apologize. Draw three cards in Island Cycle? Mm, that seems pretty decent. We're, we're also not committed to white by any means right now. So, uh, it says Defender. When you attack with one or more goblins or orcs, create a two and call us construct, sacrifice end of combat. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case. You draw a card and lose a life. So this is a one one. This is just a Dusk Legion Zealot, right? Essentially, cost sacrifice a creature or pay four. So this is just a five mana removal spell or a one mana removal spell. I'm going to take this. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, it's just removal. Amass one. Put a creature on top of its owner's library, second from the top. Uh, into its owner's library. I guess you're not putting it on top of its owner's library if it's second from the top. That's just how English works. Um, Yeah, we're just going to take the isolation at Orthanc. Oh, another one. Fascinating. Uh, I, I think this one's probably fine. Like being able to put Lash or Arwen's Gift or like any of these any of these spells that we have is actually pretty decent. Another another mass card. So it was a mass control. That was the blue black archetype. Target creature gets plus one plus two and gains death touch, and you get a food. That doesn't sound terrible. Hmm. I mean, is it better than a mass three and then they mill? What? What? Oh, are you still there? Are you serious? Come on. That's sad. Oh, we get the willow wind. That's pretty sweet. Uh, creatures your opponents can work at negative one. The ring tempts you. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think that's main deckable per se, but. Another treason. Return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand and then the ring tempts you. For one mana, that's actually pretty good. I'm not sure how relevant the ring tempting you in this archetype is, but it just seems like it's an upside, right? And we did get us surrounded by orcs. Okay. Galadriel of Lorthlorien. Lothlorien. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Galadriel as your ring bearer, scry three. Whenever you scry, you reveal the top card of your library. If a land is revealed this way, put it onto the battlefield. That's actually very good. And that's a three, three for three. I am definitely not committed to these green cards, or these black cards, rather. 
Plus, this is actually completely playable. Five, seven for six with reach that you can, that makes a food or you can uh, forest cycle it. Um, I think we're going to go with that. Yeah, that seems good. I'll put these in the sideboard for now. Ah, oh, Guahir, the Wind Lord. Four, four for six, and it costs two less if you've drawn two or more cards this turn. Gives your other birds vigilance. We have, I think, like two birds. One, the Kingfisher. Willowwind is an elemental, not a bird. Okay. Rosy Cotton of South Lane. Uh, Mushroom Watchdogs. Two, two for two. Sacrifice food. Put a one on counter on them. It gains vigilance. Pippin's Bravery. Sack of food. If you do, a creature gets plus four, plus four. Otherwise, they get plus two, plus two. We have 15 seconds. Don't care about Surrounded. I think I'm just going to take this. Um, I can't see a situation where that's not just the best card in the pack. And shortcut to Mushrooms enters... <laughs> shortcut to Mushrooms. Uh, the Ring Temps, you have to be in your end step. If a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put a 1-1 counter on it. That's actually seems very good. Two 1-1 one, one Flying Spirits for two. That seems also very good. Tap a creature, scry one, and draw a card. There's a lot going on there. Return of armor from your graveyard hand, create a food token. Uh, I'm going to take shortcut to mushrooms. That seems pretty decent. Oh, another shortcut to mushrooms, eh? This spell costs two less if it targets a tapped creature, so you exile a creature for five, but if they're tapped, it's for three... Uh, target creature controls plus one, plus one, gains hexproof, and the ring tempts you. Your end step if the left the battlefield. So this just wants you to have a bunch of food tokens, right? That actually seems... It seems really good. Am I crazy? Maybe. Whenever Lothlorien attacks, lookout attacks, scry one. <clears throat> Uh, enters battlefield tap, sacrifice it, add X-Man, any combination of colors, and you draw a card. So that's not terrible because it also triggers shortcut to mushrooms. We have, we have, Bombadil Song is also just fine. I think I'm taking the rockets here because it also lets us play like a black or a white card if we want to. Uh, when it attacks a legendary creature you control, it gains death touch until end of turn. It also has Death Touch. Stone of it wreck. If a creature and opponent controls would die, exile instead. Exile target player's graveyard, draw a card. Another artifact you can sacrifice. Bag end Porter, 4-4 four, for four, four, 4. When it attacks, it gains plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. Enters the battlefield, attached to target creature you control, untap it. Uh, that's actually pretty decent, I would imagine. It's just a plus one, plus two combat trick for three, but it's obviously an equipment, so. Don't think we need two of them, though. Draw a card and then discard a card. Three mana for a one, one. When it enters or leaves battlefield, create a food token. That actually seems like what we want to be doing. Oh, nasty end. Does initial cost to cast this spell? Sacrifice creature, draw two. If the sacrifice creature was legendary, draw three. That's so many. When this enters the battlefield, tap a creature. If this creature would untap, remove a plus one, plus one counter from it instead. Okay, so it just keeps it tapped. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's the only color card in our color, so. Uh, surrounded by orcs is fine, I guess. We're probably not going to be playing Surrounded by Orcs. Would not mind splashing black for the removal. Draw a card, then create a food token. Indestructible or lifelink. Sure. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll just take the sword here. Mortal knife wound, negative three, negative zero. And they die unless you pay two life. Sharky, Tyrant of the Shire. 2-4 for 4. Activated abilities of lands you control can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. 
has all activated abilities of lands your opponents control except mana abilities. Mana of any type can be spent to activate Sharky's abilities. That's interesting. Gandalf. 2-4 for 4. four or flash. You may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Gandalf, draw a card. That's actually great. Entish Restoration. 3 mana. Sacrifice a land, search library for two lands, put them on the battlefield, then shuffle if you control a creature without four greater instead search library for three lands. I think we're just going to go with Gandalf here. He seems really good. Oh, what up, Packrat? Oh, what up, Nick Joseph? That's so weird that you guys both chose to say something at the same time. Uh Oh, another Meneldor. Fly, you fools. If one or more tokens be created, those tokens plus an additional food token are created instead. I mean, that seems very good. Peregrine, Peregrine Took, also legendary. Um, yeah, that seems great. The ring goes south. Uh, four mana, the ring tempts you, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal X land cards for X is the number of legendary creatures you control. So let's say two. Put those cards in the battlefield tapped and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. So... That's interesting. I don't know if that's any good. Four five and oh, this is a four five the four five for five where the ring tempts you, which seems pretty decent. Oh, also Lembus. Uh, scry one, then draw a card. Yeah, let's take the Lembus. <sighs> when it enters the battlefield, scry two. Okay. Uh, another farmer, another wizard's rockets. 3-2 with flash when it enters the battlefield, scry one. I think we're just taking the brandywine farmer. I don't like that they're one ones, but making two food tokens seems pretty good. Oh, another Guaihir. 4-4 four, four flyers with vigilance are pretty decent. I'm no, I'm no limited expert, but how's our curve looking? Not many five drops. Uh, I'll take the enraged Quarn. Uh, when he dies, the ring tempts you. 4-2 for 3. 2-1 two, for 2. Can't be blocked this turn. It triggers once a turn. I'm unable to comment like some sort. That's weird because it's pretty sure it's a public post. I have no idea why you wouldn't be able to comment. Total, total randos comment on my stuff, so... I'll just take the three drop, I think. Uh, what kind of attack strong? Uh, search library for basic land, put it on your hand, then create a food token. That's actually pretty good. I would actually play 16 with this. Bill Fernie. Whenever he becomes blocked, you make a treasure or target opponent gains control of a horse you control. What? I mean, we're just taking it because it's a 2 1. I think it's a good two drop. And if they ever block it, you're just gaining a, a, a treasure. Gain control up to one target artifact as long as you control Scroll of Silver. Tap up to two creatures, put a stun counter, draw a card for each time. Why is this still in here? That seems very good. Am I right? Like, I'm shocked that, that was still in there. Turn a permanent card from your graveyard to create a food token. That seems fine, and I don't think I want a, a third Brandywine Farmer or a, a third Isolation. Or do I only have two isolations? I think I only have, or rather one. I think I only have one. I think it's still fine. Draw three. Ugh. Um. I guess I'll just take another flyer, another enraged. I don't foresee us needing a third color here. I'll take the wizard's rockets. Although that does encourage me. Sure. I mean, I could see, like, not even playing any Wizards Rockets if I'm um, solidly two colors. Okay. All right, we can cut you. I 
Six cuts, huh? Neither of these are exciting. I don't care about that. It was just one of the last picks. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You're okay. You mean you make a food token and you get you get back a permanent? I think those are good. I think Columbus is good. You're I mean you're just good, right? Two one flyer for three that <clears throat> draws you a card. Uh put up to one instant sorcery. I don't think we need this. It also isn't necessarily great with our theming here. Um I mean this card just seems fine. And we do have quite a few legendaries, right? How many legendary creatures do we have? One, two, three, four, five, five? I mean, that seems decent. Like a late game Arwen's gift for, for three seems just fine. Oh yeah, these. I these are my favorite lands. I think these are my default lands. Uh, so we need one more cut. How many creatures is this? Thirteen. I'm reluctant to cut another creature. Also, wait. Is this just? It's. See, this is sad because you have this guy who blinks something. Except the one target creature you own, then returns to the battlefield, right? But like. Mirror Mirror Guardian is when it dies, so you're not going to be able to trigger that. Uh, Brandywine Farmer. Oh, it's when it enters or leaves the battlefield. See, that's that's what I was hoping. That's a combo. That's two food tokens. And if we have Peregrine Took, that's four food tokens. That's pretty sweet. Um, I think we might just be able to cut three, four flyer, but that doesn't seem great. Or is it... Is it the four five? Four five for five or three four for five? One flies and scries two. One, the ring tempts you. I guess we can cut that. I think I'd rather have the flyer here. Nine eight, sure, that seems fine. That's one of the things I do dislike about um, MTG Arena is that like if you don't get the stuff, when you can <laughs> like you just don't know when it's going to come around again like i still want the unhinged lands but but hello um but I, I wasn't able to get them so i just don't i just don't have them now this seems fine Target opponent gains control of target horse you control. That's just hilarious to me. That feels like such a non-ability, like... Scry 3, really top card of your library. If it's a creature, draw a card. That's actually great. Like, it's, it's literally like one... It's like an opt, right? This is just a green opt. And they're 100% going to reveal a creature card. Yep. Never don't have that creature on top. Okay, 1-3. Whenever it attacks, scry 1. So the ring tempting us isn't going to do anything, so I think I'm just going to play Galadriel. Uh, if you choose a creature other than her, scry three. So we can actually choose him next turn. We can choose Bill next turn. Wow, that is a lot of lookouts. So this is going to tempt us. We also do have the two... <laughs> the two legendary creatures. This also tempts us. Uh, you remember the top card library? If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. Thank you. Yeah, we're just gonna save our soothings of Smeagol. Bill, you can be the ring bearer. 
Um, what's our land right now? Two. So we want another forest. I think I'm fine without that. Oh, we just win the game. Well, we had a good run. Oh, what up, Dennis? Good seeing you, buddy. Oh, thanks for the resub, my dude. Are my notifications not working? Are my Twitch alerts not working? Um, this seems good again. I'll keep it, I guess. I, I would love a two drop here, but you know, can't win them all. What does this fine gentleman do? Whenever a goblin or orc control does combat damage to a player, exile the top card of your library. That's a, wow, that's insanely good. Holy shit. Boy, that's problematic. Um Yeah, I'll keep that. Oh boy. Oh God. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, I guess I'll play the biggest creature we have. Wow, this card is really good. Are they just going to kill my Gladrail? I mean, they have six cards in hand. So any red removal spell that deals three is probably going to be sufficient. Creature opponent controls dealt excess non combat damage. This is not going to end well. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I mean, could have been worse, I guess. So this is whenever it comes like so each creature blocking it. That's terrible. I mean, for us, you know. I think we're just going to play this in the hopes that we can block and trade. Because, like, these guys all die immediately upon blocking. So it's not ideal. A mass one, a mass two, increasing control plus one. Yeah, we're just going to block here. Sure. Because I feel like we do have a decent late game here. Uh, I'm going to Island Cycle just to hit a land here. And then we're going to play Old Tookie. Because if we hit a green, then we can start playing two things a turn. Uh, no blocks. Oh, beautiful. For spacious skies. Uh, we could also get back Galadriel and play her. I think that's probably better, right? But then we're taking like seven next turn. I think it's probably better to get some guys on the board. Yeah. 
Yeah, that seems better. We didn't attack, but we're also not planning to attack. I, I think the reason we do that is because we just don't want to. If something happens, uh, whenever a creature blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, that creature loses all abilities. That's sure. That's unfortunate, but. Oh, that's actually what I hoped you would put it on, to be quite honest. Because I wasn't going to block that guy anyway. This was, this was what we were hoping for, so. Unless they have Ember Cleave. That would be rough. <sighs> yep. Basically Ember Cleave. Uh, well, I can't do anything. I can gain a lot of life soon. Mm, let's play land. So, return burn, create a food. Is this an instant or sorcery? Sorcery? Uh, might want to just go up to 10. Yeah, I think we're just going to go up to 10 here. And again, like I'm not attacking because if some if they if you're somehow able to get rid of this, like I don't I I want to block. Uh, Tower of Forger does mass too. That's very good. So whenever a creature with power four grade dies, you make it two two. That's oh, they just didn't attack. That's pretty good for us. Oh, that's also pretty good for us. I mean, I guess we have to bounce the non-token creature, but that's still fine. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. So what we can do. This is, is this an instant or a sorcery, I wonder? Instant, perfect. And then we can play you. And then we're gonna get tempted. No attacks. We do have to start figuring out how to win, but I think like this is 15 life right here, so. which is a good amount. I'm no expert, but... Destroy an artifact or a land. Creatures of flying can't... Without flying, can't block this turn. So what do you have? 10, 5, 6, 7, 8. This, this is when they die, right? Yeah, okay. I can't block, so I'm taking eight. Right? Creatures without flying, sure. All right, well, I'm at two. How do I know where I'm at? Can't be blocked, okay. Resolve. Yeah, that's not bad, right? 
Um, so we want to hit the land, but I guess it doesn't matter because it's... Hmm. It's a lot of food. A lot of food we got here. Um, I guess we're just passing. They have one card and we know what it is. Uh, that actually feels okay. At a certain point, we do we would like to start attacking. We have seven food, eight food tokens, essentially. So that's 24 insane life. What's the next step of the ring? Whenever attacks, you loot. Sounds good. So I can five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can bounce the five guy and go to five and then we take five. That's actually fucking hilarious. That's actually amazing. Oh, what up, TPO? Thanks for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Um, is there no way to get to, to fix that? I guess not. That's really annoying, dude. Sacrifice three food, draw a card. Um, nothing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do here, right? Cool. How do I? Where's the con, where's the concede? Is the is the gear hiding? Is it not visible? Heading out your way in about two months. Where where is my way though? Where is specifically are you referring? I am in Colorado, but Colorado is a humongous state. That's why I ask. Because I'm in Fort Collins, so like if you're going to Denver or if you're going to Boulder or if you're going to Colorado Springs, like like I I there's no way I can give you recommendations cuz they're just so far, you know. So it really just depends on where you're going. I'll keep this. I think the Lumbus is fine. Oh wow, that gear is really hard to see because it's like kind of almost blends into the window. Another forest is, is great. Assured it is where your casinos will be located if you have any. I don't I I don't personally know of any 
of the Colorado casinos, but I do assume there are some. Okay, well. I do assume eventually we will get uh, non-forests. Eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello. Sacrifice the land, search for two lands, put them on the battlefield. If you control a creature with four or greater, search for three lands. These are also great lands. Not today. All right. Well, we got a we got a playable card, you know, and that's really the important thing, I think. I just want to play something. This feels like a fine little walk, so I'll take it. Oh, an island. Beautiful. When you cast sorcery spells, they hit flash. Whenever the ring tempts you, if it's another creature, draw a card. Deal. So I'm tempted to just pass. And then next turn, we can play Bill and Galadriel if we hit an island. I had him foot down of buying a pet ring that just bounces and sits on a pet bed. What does that even mean? Are you oh you're talking about this? You're talking about the little literal pet in game. I was like, what? What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, I think pet might not be the um the optimum word. Scry three, roll the top card of his agree. Yeah, we know that guy. We know Elvin Farsight. See, the good thing about drafting is like once you do like two drafts, you usually are completely familiar with most cards in any format. I will block here. I mean, we just bounce, right? But that's fine. This is weird. You have this one forest, but you have all of these other lands. Well, forest was not the specific land we were looking for with a handful of blue cards. I still think this is the correct play. It just sets us up for a lot better things. I, I, what I'm saying is that pet is not the best word to choose to for, for these. Like, this is not a pet, right? This is a ring. So, I, my, my point is that magic using the terminology pet is, is kind of loose. Oh my god, look at this. You can interact with things in the background. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's... Maybe the interactable should not be this close to the actual relevant game buttons. Um, yeah, that's fine. What are they, I mean, like, what are the odds that they have a trick here? One black and one red. Sure. That 
is not another blue source. Okay, okay. So this is three, we have four, five. We can easily play this and hit a blue source. I guarantee it'll happen. It did. So what do we have? One, two, we'll have three mana. So yeah, we'll take the island. Oh, damn it. Oh, it was a land. We, we, I, I forgot this was whenever you scry. And not only when she... It's not part of her ability. It's part of scrying in general. Oh, this is good. Oh, we can also play... Something else now. Okay. Yeah, we'll just play you. This guy went over land. Target creature gets plus one, plus one. And that guy's good. No attacks. No, Nick, I'm saying they do call them pets. I'm saying them calling them pets is not the... Wow, that was... That was something right there. Really? You're not attacking with the... Oh, I guess you don't have a land. Well, that's fine. When this dies, the ring tempts you. Oh, well, all right. Sure. Go to the ring battle, Harry. Uh, the ring tempts you again. The beginning of your end step, if a prone you control left the battlefield this turn, put a 1 1 counter on something. This feels like an easy trade. Yeah, that's fine. So we get to draw a card from that. Uh, play the Lembus. Uh, bottom you. We are going through a lot of cards here. Put a card on. Oh, we were going to put it on. We were going to put it on Gandalf. That was the intent. Draw another card. This Gandalf's really strong. Am I crazy? Oh, what up, Alan? Yep, yep, you got it. Everyone, huh? Man, Gan this Gandalf is doing some work against this 3-4 that they just keep attacking with. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 mana. That's a lot. We can play these two. Let's also play that. Let's discard. I guess we're just getting rid of forest here. And we make treasures, we make double treasures. That's not bad. Hmm. 
So we could actually sacrifice both treasures, play both of these. That seems good. What? That's a food. That's a food. Wait, I can do that? Oh, is is Pippin as Peregrine took only food? Oh, okay. Okay. That does change that. I guess we still have Smeagol up. That's fine. The soothing of Smeagol. Yeah, that's fine. Fascinating. Pass two blockers. Block here yet again. Actually, it'll block here. Uh, can't be blocked by creatures of greater power, sure. Deals damage equal to its power. That's great. Negative. Choose a creature to be your wing bearer. Uh, yeah, resolve it. And now they can't even replay them this turn, which is just fantastic. So. And that, that's going to be the game. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Because uh, we could just play this next turn, our Brandywine Farmer, and then start blinking it to make, like, four tokens a turn. This seems very good. Two, three, four. Snap keep. Yep. What do we got here? Three, two, whenever you scry, put a one-one counter on chance met elves. The ability triggers only one choose. That's actually very good. Um, Peregrine token to Gandalf also makes our Arwen's gift cheaper as well. I assume we're gonna fight here. Maybe not. I mean, I won't be blocking. Really? Post-combat playing this? That's interesting. That is not 
what I would have expected. Hmm. I guess I can just wait to cast him, huh? And the idea is next turn, if we have a land, we can play her into this. Skill versus luck in MTG Go. What does that mean? Is that a question? You might have to clarify. Those are both components of MTG, for sure. Uh, resolve that. This guy's this guy is problematic. Wow. Oh wow, it's a six-five now. Seems good. Seems very good. I'm not sure how many times I've actually attacked in this draft. It feels like it's low. I mean, you can buy the good cards, yeah. Um, but like, <laughs> I'll never forget. I was like probably 10 years old, maybe. And I was in an arcade playing Street Fighter. Uh, and I played against an opponent and he was very good. And I was terrible and I played M. Bison and I was just doing Psycho Crusher over and over and over. And it was cheap and it was what you'd referred to as cheesy. But after I lost, oh, it's, just, it's only 6-5 because, sure, cool. Never don't have everything you need. Um, but the thing he said to me after I lost, which I'll never forget to this day, was just because you know the moves doesn't mean you know how to play. And they were right. And it's the same thing with magic. Like, just because you own the cards does not mean you know how to use them or play them correctly or, you know, I mean. Uh, it's actually, ugh. we're going to draw this. So reveal the next one. No attacks. Interesting, they're not attacking with their guide. Why not? I'm at seven. Fascinating. I don't think we're going to put that on the bottom. Uh, I guess it... Oh, see, this is an awkward situation where, like, we're scrying and then we're drawing, so, like, whatever we get here we're keeping and then this ability triggers does that trample no so i'm actually i'm gonna put that on the bottom and i'll just keep these two because we have an answer for this guy no matter what yeah uh sure reveal it oh that's good but now we can play you make two food Not attacking here. Were you gloating? No, not at all. I mean, I was like 10 years old. I think he was just annoyed. He was like, dude, this kid thinks he knows how to play, but he's actually not doing anything, really. And it was right. I mean, that's that's just the way it works. This is the way it works, you know. Oh, and now you're attacking with both. Fascinating. 
I'm probably going to go to four here. We have seven land. We can easily play Willow Wind and Soothing. Uh, pass to blockers. I might actually draw a card here. Depends on how much food we think we need. I guess we don't have to do it now, so. Okay. Sad. Indestructible and attached to legendary creature control, they have indestructible, sure. Do you have a legendary creature? That is a legendary creature. They don't have hexproof though, right? Sure. three cards in hand still that is a lot thank you fascinating Oh, Cyborg Gooey, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. They gotta do something, right? They're just looking at my food. Keep looking at my food. Well, they got three cards. Bear that ring for me, bro. Oh, this is a good, this is a good little combination. We'll keep it like that. Let's reveal. So I'll take none and you'll lose your guy. Satisfying. Also, just so you know, Dr. Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. Absolutely delicious. Um, five, nine, and that's uh, that's good. Um hmm. scrying two, but we're not gonna be able to I don't care about Bill right now. I'll keep the one on top and then we're not gonna reveal oh I didn't want to discard either of these I guess we should have I forgot we were going to do ring bearer shit uh, that's fine
We're doing some ring bearer shit. Yep, two one for two. When you scry, it gets plus one. I think I'm actually just gonna crack both of these. Is this the end of each turn? The beginning of your end step. Sure. Really tempted to just put this back in their library. I think that's actually very good for us. Put you on top, we'll revive the Shire and we'll put you on the bottom. Uh, one here, one here. Yeah, this game seems over now. Okie dokie. Um, they gotta have something, right? So let's pick a permanent. It's just Gandalf. Gandalf seems good. And we'll take the other flyer. an artifact or an enchantment or creature with flying okay do they have the counter spell too because that would be a great combination Play you, I guess. Creature you control. Another creature you control.
So I think we're three one. Hopefully not two one. Three one. Yeah. Okay. I feel like these take so long. I mean, it's just one round, one one game, but like, add up, man. When there's like seven, there's up to nine games, right? Like you have to win seven, and you can lose twice. So. This hand seems very good. Would love a two drop that wasn't Lembus, but we don't actually have that many, so. Um, actually, I think that's probably fine. Would rather not have to struggle for lands. Easy Peregrine took, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Just making sure we didn't have a better play. Choose blockers. I'll choose no blockers. A lot of Smeagles here. I do kind of like this to make a bunch of tokens. What does that do for us, though? I mean, the problem is it's just better mana use than, like, a soothing of Smeagol. I mean, this actually might be even better then. Yeah, let's do that. And next turn, if we draw a land, we can play both of these. So no land, but we did get a shortcut and a soothing. Shortcut and a soothing. You know, you know how you do. I'm also just tempted to play Arwen's Gift to draw a card to, to, to hit land drops. Uh, Look at that, we hit a land drop. Uh, fortunately, I do like all the cards in our hand. I think we're just going to get rid of the draw two, because we we drew one. And that's basically two. That's half of two, right? So. You know, combat. Target creature gets plus one, plus that, sure. Oh boy, um, Gandalf seems pretty good. I don't care about Bill Fernie. Uh, we're gonna put Bill Fernie under underneath.
I'm sorry, what? This card seems insane. Scry two, then put a creature card onto the battlefield if it's the top card? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's interesting. I just get to kill that guy, though. That's weird. Oh, you like that I played that land even though I knew I was going to draw a card? I, I keep forgetting that when you have the ring, like, all of them are in play, not just the one. Like, it's not going from one to the next. All of them are still in effect. So that's literally something I just have to keep doing and figuring out. Because it almost seems too good. I'm like, oh, you get all of these effects. That's really good. Oh, gaining control of this seems really good. Whew. One top, one bottom. And you got three, four, sure. This is very good. I mean, we do get to double block this guy and kill it. Like, I don't, I guess they're not getting much value out of it. Choose a creature to be my ring bear. Choose a creature to be your huckleberry. <laughs> Bottom you. Thank you. Scry two again. Bottom bomb. Done. Draw a card. Discard the land. You just play the bird here. I can also sack Lambus to go to eleven. And then put a counter on something, which I think might be a little better to be honest. Whenever you attack with one or more elves, scry one. Whenever you scry, it gets plus one, plus one for each card looked at while scrying this way. Sure. None of these guys have, like, trample or anything, really. Right? They're just regular dudes.
Now they're bigger. Eight, you have two. I guess we're just gonna play to not die here, so. Doesn't have reach, and we have two flyers. <sighs> Okie dokie. I'll tap you. Okay. <laughs> we were going to get a free four or five. Uh, seems good. Oh, what up, McGimp? There's so many more games left. Does this feel like are these do these feel longer than than best of threes? Wow, look at that. Look at that avatar, man. Was that braids? Oh, all right. Oh, for some reason I thought this was the uh, the one that puts a plus one plus one counter on things. Game twelve is not an artifact. I don't feel like there's any benefit to playing that now, so I guess we're just gonna wait. No attacks. I guess that's a human. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm tempted to just block here. Never mind. Just kidding. Because of the ring. Because of that ring. Seems good. Uh, I'll submit zero. Choose a creature to be my ring bear. This beautiful bird. Ta I'll target yourself. Beautiful. <clears throat> Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that ring. Scoop up, scoop up, scoop up, scoop up, scoop up. Oh, 
Wow, two games in a row. And the turn right after I played Scroll of Sildur. That's hilarious. They're five mana. We could just play Gandalf here. We could just play this and make a shit ton of food. Chain creature spirit and can attack or block. Sure. We're gonna this energy go to the power to another target creature that player controls. Wow, that's kind of wild. Oh, they're not fighting, though. That's good, I guess. Two lands. Solid. Solid. So this is going to cost three. But we only have... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, little Jimmy. Thank you. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that ring. Beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up. Discard a card, eh? Yeah, discard the gift here, I guess. It's the only one that doesn't do anything. <sighs> I mean, we're just gonna try not to die here, basically. Of course, they have the fucking exact haste creature. Oh, to give them lethal. Of course they do. Fucking incredible. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Good times. Sammy, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back. The ring tempting us is not great when we don't have a ring bearer, unfortunately. Oh, I guess it still tempts you anyway. That's interesting. Of 
cool. <laughs> no lands. Sweet. So tempted. Such rings. Wow. I guess they're not doing that much better, I guess. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just play the 1-1. One, one. I don't want to play this and have the ring tempt us again with no creatures, so I'd rather just make a food here. Be able to crack it next turn and make a 3-3 three, three, if nothing else. Okay, that was good. Or we could just play Gandalf. Into... I mean, no, no. Thank you. Static suicide. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Scheme up, scheme up, scheme up, scheme up, scheme up. I think we have enough time to play this and start getting this this going. Plus, every time we crack a food, we're gonna put two counters on things, which seems really strong. I will take four. This is draft number one. Oh, Legolas. Three mana for one, four. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, put a one, one counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, Legolas deals damage equal to its power up to one target. That's pretty good. And he got reach? Oh man, come on. Let's say no attacks. Let's play you and we'll crack this food token. seems good unfortunately it triggers at the end of the turn so you can't like trigger it and then attack and then get a block out of them they do have five cards in hand and they finally hit a red mana so that should be fun We'd love to see what this card does. Is there any way to do that? Nope, oh, can't. Nope, and everything's just happening. I lose my whole fucking board before I can even read the card. Damage can't be prevented this turn. Deals X damage to target creature and one damage to each other creature with the same controller. Cool. Come at me, bro. This feels like an easy trade. The ring is very tempting right now. Um, well, five mana. This is actually not terrible. This puts two counters on Peregrine Took. can't block unless you control a goblin or an orc. Legolas and an Olog High Crusher seemed seems very flavorfully like a flavor fail. Uh, gets plus one plus oh when it dies it deals damage equal to its power to target creature and put controls. Surprisingly good. Uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh 
Revive the Shire, I can get a three drop back. Get Brandywine Farmer back. It's not exciting though. Could just get the four two back. Make two food tokens. Could just make a three four and scry two. Wow, already getting a, a rope? That's in that's insane. Um I guess it's just this. I, I'm i not sure if there's a better choice. Do they have any artifacts whatsoever? This might just go on the bottom, unless it's that third deck that's going to have that rare in it. Did you read all of Lord of the Rings? No, I've never read all of Lord of the Rings. I don't think that's, a, that's not a silly question at all. Hmm, fascinating. So they pump this guy twice, and he's trading with Peregrine Took. I'm just going to block like this. Like, um, yes, that seems fine. Yep, had a feeling you were going to do that. And then we'll see what the 4 4 has. I'm sure you have some nonsense. Three. Okay. Oh, you're just going to. You're going to... Hmm. Sure. What are we getting back? Um, probably the the Willow Wind. Nothing here is going to tempt us except for the Mirror Mirror Guardian, which is just worse than the Willow Wind, I think. Yeah, alright. Nothing went to the graveyard, so we're not going to build a trigger our shortcut to mushrooms. I'm just going to take one here. I don't think it's worth blocking with Gandalf to prevent one. Whenever it becomes blocked, it deals one damage to each creature blocking. Okay. Uh, yes. Easy, easy decision. Um, actually, I think we do attack here. Three, five, and four, five. Satisfying. Oh, good. You can look at the top card of your library anytime. You cast creature spells from the top of your library, and your creatures have tapped to add one mana of any color. That seems pretty decent. I mean, this is a two for one, right? Get rid of you. Is this, is this a card I care about? Sure. 
Might as well reveal it. Oh, and it was a land. Beautiful. 3 5. We're at 24. Yeah, this is definitely attacking territory. combination of cards you're playing. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep the... Actually, do we just attack here? This guy can't block, right? Satisfying. Uh, one, one. Seven mana to activate that, huh? Even though we're in top deck mode, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Well, depending on what that guy does. Whenever it... I don't know that you've heard those out of field. If two target creatures get plus two, plus two in trample. That's pretty good. So, just this guy. Okay. Wait. That's not attacking. Okay. Uh, so, six. Tempted to double block. Or just no blocks at all. Yeah, we'll do no, we'll, we'll no blocks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Second from the top is annoying when they have this out because they're just going to draw for their turn and then it's going to be on top and they just recast it again. <sighs> Fascinating. I think we're just passing here. I would love to become the ring bearer. I have nine lands in play. That's a lot. When Grishnok Enters the battlefield, a mass orc to when you do, until in turn, gain control of target non legendary creature and put controls of power less than or equal to their mass than his power. Untap that creature, it gains haste. Sure. I just happen to have the exact creature for it. It's a lot of creatures they have, but we are at 20. They have one card in hand and four mana. They have no cards in hand. 
This is what, seven to activate, and they have one, two, three, four, five. That's good. Yep, yep, it's a free attack. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're they're definitely setting up to use the ability. Um, and then we're just gonna tuck it. Because the board's gonna be pretty tapped out after this. Goodbye. Oh, uh, well, that's not exactly what we're looking for. What do they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. We'll have a blocker. Actually, don't need to sack the food this turn. But I will make a 5-5. Five five. Yep. And this card's really, really obnoxious. Probably just taking 10 here. <laughs> I mean, actually tempted to block here. Yeah, I think that's... So they have three creatures, they're at nine. We have a lot of power on the board. Sure. Come the fuck on, dude. It's really obnoxious. Four, seven, sacrifice of food. No attacks. I mean, this Woes Pathfinder, which while, while extremely expensive is at a point where it's gonna be very good, so. Yep. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can we'll take twelve. <laughs> oh god, five. So this is six. I mean, we can just double block here. That feels decent, I guess. Oh yeah, lands that could cycle. I have proposed this multiple times. Hey, would you look at that? It's a guy. Hey, guy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I think we're keeping both of those. That basically says if we can survive, we are good to go. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, because like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cast one, become the ring bearer, or the ring will tempt us, and then we're gonna draw the other one, and then cast that, and then draw something else. So we get to bounce two creatures. 
All right, they have one card in hand. Let's see if it's the one card they need to win, because that's that's been the case quite frequently. Choose a creature. Floaty boy. Let's get get tempted. doesn't matter sure Legolas dies should have just blocked the big guy oh we should have actually just cast this on their turn wow three lands <laughs> okie dokie <sighs> yep. One can't block, one is a 1-1, one, one, so that seems good for us. Unless they're going to fight here. Yep, of course they are. at one. So I think we're in good shape. I don't think they have anything they can do that's going to deal us 11 damage this turn. And that confirms. Are we at the last game yet? I think we have two. Oh my god, this is exhausting. Why is this taking so this is like two hours already? It's so long, dude. Like it's seven games at minimum if you go undefeated. Two shortcuts and a five drop. I would love to go back to Vintage Cube, but it's not around, my friend. It is not around. Man. I think we got a mulligan in this hand. This is a keeper, but it's not great, so you know. We can we can switch switch out one one farmer here. Cause the presumption is that we're gonna draw an island. He said confidently. He said foolishly. He said naively. He said stupidly. Oh boy. <laughs> Good times. I mean, any island, then we got a good little little situation going here. What does Eowyn do? At the beginning of combat in your turn, target creature gains your first strike vigilance. Uh, if that creature is equipped, it gains first strike and vigilance. That's fine. Two, four, four, three that does that is not terrible. And it's not another creature. She can gain it herself. So that's, oh, beautiful. Thank the gods. Let's do no attacks. This guy got reach? No. Anytime an elf scout doesn't have reach, I'm like, what are you doing with your life? Cool. Love it. Sweet. Feels good. Well, I guess we won't attack here. Why wouldn't you give the 2-4 Vigilance instead of the 1-3? Be 
Any combat on your turn, target creature gains. Yeah, I just do it to herself. No attackums. So ring bearer, you scry three, but whenever you scry, you roll the top card and put a land in play. So we're ideally hoping to hit a land. Whenever you scry, this either gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Oh, it does get that, and then you can either choose uh, that it must be blocked or it can't be blocked by more than one creature. Oh, one on the bottom, one on the top. Reveal it. Freebie. No attacks. <clears throat> We're getting tempted next turn. Maybe we should have played this guy. That's definitely an option. Getting blue cards out of our hand, though, when we have such an abundance of forests is, is probably better. Because there's, there goes, there's going to come a point where we just have multiple cards we can play, but our bottleneck is blue mana. This creature must be blocked. It just has to be. I mean, that seemed fine. Why didn't this guy die? Wait, what? Wasn't this a 4-3? Did he gain first strike? Oh, it probably had first strike. Yep, that's that's pretty good. I would also like to be tempted. Yeah, this guy should just be doing bear. Just bear those rings, you know what I mean? Uh this just draws us a card. Eh, no attacks. Oh, hey, it's that Limbus that we were looking at. What are the odds? Okay, this doesn't take anything currently, but it does tempt us. So we have seven mana, which is a significant amount. Legendary creatures, so we can do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not gonna do it. Let's start with the Limbus though, because we get to draw land. Um, ugh. Dang. I do want the land. Okay. So now we get to place two things still. Oh, wow. Um... So definitely you. Don't care about you. And I think you're still fine. I think you're just not terrible. I will decline to reveal. I don't really want to discard Arwen's Gift, though. And I don't want to discard the top card. So I think we're just going to pass here. This one's actually fairly complicated. Like, there's a lot going on between, like, 
all of the the ring abilities, the number of legendary creatures you have to keep track of, like the ring tempting you, stuff like that. There's just a lot that's happening. Like, I can't imagine a new player playing this set. <laughs> like, if this was your first set to be introduced to Magic, like, it's so, there's so much to track. Uh, tap two creatures. Tap you. Yeah, I think this game's gonna be over, unfortunately. I have to discard something. Probably Arwen's gift. Like, we're just at a point where, like, we're way ahead. And we're drawing two next turn from Scroll. We also have nine mana, they have four, so they were quite a bit behind this whole game. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. Do we bounce their last remaining guy? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think we need to. Oh boy. Uh, shockingly discarding Peregrine took of all the cards in our hand. We have an embarrassment of riches here. Oh, I guess they can gain three. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they're just gonna go to three. That's fine. I mean, they get one more turn, but I, I doubt there's anything they can do here. All right, last round. Let's see if we can, is it seven or six? So the thing that always confuses me every time is that this is six wins, but it says five up here. And this is seven wins, but it says six. And for some reason, my brain is like six wins. Oh no, it's seven wins. So it is seven wins. Okay, okay. Shortcut to mushrooms. Shortcut to mushrooms was the name of my... My, my jazz fusion band in college. So this is just a 2-1 that when it dies, you make a 1-1. One, one. It's pretty good. This is a good, this is a good start. If we can get this online without it dying, I'm going to feel good. 
I'm gonna feel positive about my my place in the world. No blocks. Okay, and they missed the land drop, so you know. Not the worst. And we're hitting our land drop, so we can go scroll and soothing next turn. Ring is gonna tempt us twice. Wow, that's so much tempting. You know, unless they can kill this, but I, I don't know, man. They might also be, oh, they're gonna kill it. They're gonna sacrifice that, yep. Sad, very sad. Uh, Non-token, can't bounce it. Is this, these guys look like artifacts, do they not? Like the shiny texture on the outside borders always makes them look like artifacts. And I don't know what to do about that. I think we're just casting Arwen's Gift. Or you can go scroll into sack this to put a counter on this. And this lets us draw anyway in the future. Yeah, what the hell. Uh, smooth zero. So we're gonna say no attacks. Okay, now we have a 2 2. Feels good. Now we can start looting. We have an extra forest to pitch, so that's not bad. I mean, they have they have two lands, right? Like, so they're obviously at a significant disadvantage here, unfortunately. But I want to say unfortunately, but everyone everyone kind of gets glad when their opponents at a little bit of a disadvantage. It's not really the weirdest thing. Uh huh. Easy game, easy life. You're gonna go away forever. I'll probably keep the took. Keep that took. Uh, can't play anything, but we do get to keep soothing of Smeagol up. When it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Sure, it's three, two, for three. I'm so, I'm so like confused how the ring tempting you does not have any sort of negative uh, aspect. Like, I mean, I guess that's, it's more enjoyable for a player experience for sure, I think, but it's also very off-putting. Does that make sense? Like it just, it feels a little flavor faily. I kind of just want to bounce this guy. Oh, here we go. Play Gandalf. Bounce this guy. The ring tempts us. You're our bearer. We draw a card. Get in there. Draw a card. Pitch a forest. Play a forest. End the turn. Put a counter on. We'll put a counter on you again, because like their obvious inclination is to get rid of Gandalf, so if we're just putting all our counters in here... I thought the same thing when I saw it, and it's set with so many cards with great flavor. Yeah, like, it's just like, the entire crux of Lord of the Rings is that the ring is the worst thing you can have. It will literally destroy you. Like, the, the transition from, from Smeagol to Golem is, is the representation of the entire story, right? It says, like, this is the exact thing you want to avoid. The worst possible thing in the, in the, in the world of Middle-earth that can happen to you happens when you have the ring so for the ring to tempt you and there's literally like no downside whatsoever draw a card then if you don't control legendary creature put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library okay so it's, it's basically like a loot but this guy's legendary oh that's good also that's another thing i keep forgetting is that the ring tempting you makes uh, it gives you a legendary creature. Uh, yep, my turn. Sure. Oh, that's see, that's good. 
See, that's nice. So we have seven mana. I think we could just get rid of Lorien Revealed. Like, we have so many cards in hand. Oh, double blocking. Okay. I accept. What is this guy? The guy I returned? Sure. No blocking. Single blocking. What's it gonna be here? No blocking, single blocking, double blocking. Final answer. Satisfying. Uh, we have four mana. Pretty sure we're just gonna play Kingfisher here. I think we're seven. I think we're seven twoing here. I think we're. I think we're doing it. Whenever two or more creatures you control attack, target attack creature without flying gains flying. So basically, if you attack with this and one other thing, your guy gets flying. But I ain't having it. That'll do. All right. <laughs> well, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, all right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this very first Lord of the Rings draft. I feel like 7-2 is pretty good for our first draft, especially when we're just learning the format. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to go to Twitch, follow me on Twitch, subscribe, do the things. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.